Hi, this is Colette. This week on the Kaiser blog, I've made this card using the Chase Rainbow collection. The papers are from the six and a half inch paper pad, and you can see this collection is really bright and very arty. It's a lot of fun. On this particular card, I've used the birds and cage die from Kaiser Craft and I love the fact that you actually get two little birds on this and I've used both of those on my card front. But what I really want to show you in the video today is how you can go ahead and make these lovely roses. They're not hard to do so let's get started. What I will actually need is the layered flowers die from Kaiser Craft and I'm going to use the smallest of the round dies. Now what I need for my rose is I'll need to cut five of these in the colour that I want my rose to be and one of these in the base which could be green for the leaves for, for example. So I've gone ahead and I have cut four of these already so I just need one more of those orange ones and one more of the green base one. So I've got my platform two on my big shot up, popping down my metal shim, my acrylic plate. Then I'm going to pop down my green base and my orange. Yep, I'm doing two pieces of paper at the same time. The Kaiser Craft dies are nice and sharp and they really have no problems cutting the two flowers at once, which is great because it means we just have to do that one pass instead of two. Okay, so just popping those out and you can see now I've got my fifth orange flower and my green base. So I can now go ahead and pop the big shot away. The next thing that I need to do is I need to pierce a hole through the centre of my flowers. I've done these four already, so all I need to do is to pierce a hole through these two. They don't need to be lined up, I'm just going to go into the middle with my piercing tool and my piercing mat, poke it down so I now have a hole in both of those as well. Now the next thing I need to do is to get a stem to feed these flowers onto. And what I like to do with my bought flowers is I kind of behead them. And you can see all my bought flowers here. And what I really like is that they don't get tangled up with all the stems being on them. And you can see I've got a little container here full of the beheaded stem, stems. And I use these um, quite a lot if I want to put tendrils. I'll just poke them in under the flower and no one knows that they've actually been um, disattached, if that's such a word, from the actual flower itself. But what I need is I need a, um, a stem that I have taken off one of my previous flowers and I need to make a little circle in the top of that. So I'm taking my round nose pliers and I've caught the end of my stem and I'm going to twiddle that round until it forms a tiny, tiny little circle. Can you see that? So that's going to enable the flowers to move up the post and not go past that circle, which is what we want. So I'm going to take my first flower. Now I want the orange to show, so I'm going to load this on on the wrong side. But I'm going to apply some adhesive first. So all over I'm applying adhesive to the back of my flower and I'm going to feed that on. Oops, I've missed a step. Before we actually feed it on, and probably before you put the glue on, you just need to snip in between each of the petals. We only do this all the way through with the first flower. So just like before, feeding that flower on. And now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to actually bring these flowers up and I'm going to cut them around each other to form my inner petal. So you're just kind of shaping, I know you can't see much yet, but if you can see that first little cup, it looks like a little a rose petal. Okay, then you bring the next one up and you cup that around that one, and then the opposite one, and you do exactly the same, cupping them around. So you can see I've got a little bud forming here in the middle of my flower, and then finally the last two. 
Okay, so that's the center bud of my flower. Um, just make sure that glue is all sticking nicely, which it should do. Okay, so that's ready now. And now I'm ready for my next one. And exactly the same this time, I need to take my flower and I'm going to put my adhesive on all the petals. Be generous with this adhesive. I'm going to poke my tendril through that hole. Okay, and then I'm going to encase this bud. Okay, so you're casing it all around and then you're just bringing them up. Often if you work with the opposite sides, you'll get a, a nice effect. Okay. Then you just kind of keep playing until you're quite happy with, with how it's looking. So, that's my, my second one. It's a little bit hard to kind of see what's going on here, but that's my second little bash. I'm on to the third one now, and I'm going to continue wanting that orange to, to show rather than the blue. So again, feeding that through, taking up the opposite sides, cupping them round. And again, the, this one here, cupping them round. Just keep on cupping, keep on playing until you're happy with, with how your flower is looking. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and finish this off with the next few layers. And now you, you'll actually start to see it taking shape, which is always quite nice. So you're just kind of pushing the petals in so that glue will attach to the to the layer that's ahead of it. Okay, you see a little bud there in the middle. Okay, the flowers forming quite nicely. And the last layer. Through the hole. And again bringing up those petals around the actual flower. And you can see, I'm actually starting to see some of the um, colour of paper on the opposite side, which I think is quite pretty. Just adds a little bit more interest and, and people know that you've taken the time to actually make these. Now the very last layer, the leaves, we just want to put a little bit of adhesive around that centre hole and then I'm just going to feed that down and then I'm just going to gently kind of cut that around the base of the rose. So there you go. That's my little rose complete. Can you see that? Just a very simple and quick little handmade rose from those layered dies that you can get from Kaiser Craft. Now if you want to you can grab a pencil um, or something. I don't have a pencil so I'm going to use this guy here which is going to be a bit chunky but that's okay. And then I'm going to start off near the top and just wrap that around and this one's going to have a pretty big chunky tendril but that's my my finished little flower. So um, have a go at them. They're not hard and they will really make your cards look beautiful and fine-tuned. So here's the one that I did earlier, and um, that's just stuck down, obviously, on the card front. So have a go, hope you enjoy that. Um, my name's Colette, and I look forward to showing you another technique on the next video. Thanks, bye-bye.